Okay, so last time we uh, left off here, somewhere from the uh, yard of a random person that I just jumped into, so we shall now do something. Whoa. That shit was intense for sure, like what just happened. I was scared, I was like, what's going on, and you were like, ah, oh, fucking pussy. Anybody? Okay, so I can move now, okay. There's a treehouse. No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg, the way it is. Yeah, yeah, I wanna ride this. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hm. Let's go. Okay. I guess not then. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Not now. Help! Not now. I wonder if anybody's home. Hm. So do I, friend. So do I. I wonder if anybody's home. You can keep saying that, but I wonder if anybody's home. But that won't help. Can you stop saying? Can home. you fucking stop saying that, please? Thank you. I wonder if anybody's <laughs> home. <laughs> oh God, that's just too mindfuck. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. Let's get in. Coming in. Uh huh. Don't shoot, okay? Hello? I'm not an intruder. <laughs> or one of them. I'm not an intruder, I'm just entering your house without a permission. So, I'm just like, I'm a friend. I'm a very friendly person who just, like, comes into your house. Okay. Ah, oh, Unicorns! Can I do them? Can I? Oh. I don't think so. Um... Bowl of fruit. Let's check that out. Can I eat them? It's fake. Damn. Yeah, they're fake. For sure. Okay. Three new messages. Whoa. Message one. Left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, oh he's God. not feeling well I enough to drive back coming. tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my God, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting Ooh. dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Well, I love you too, bud. Okay, what the fuck did I just do? What the fuck just happened? Daddy? What the f- Huh? <laughs> I just teleported from the fucking kitchen. Hello? You need to be quiet. Who the fuck are you? Should I kill you? I'm not a monster. Good. Because who are you? Um. What's your what's name? What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? 
Are you, Are safe? you safe? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see oh. you through the window. You smart bastard. I like that. <laughs> what? Oh shit! Oh fuck! Fuck! What the fuck? Oh fuck! Oh, I have to press Q. Okay, 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 E. Oh, come on, Lee, you fucking clumsy bastard. Get the fuck up. Oh, yeah. Take that fucking shoe. Oh, no, you didn't. I have to kick you again. Yeah. Oh, fuck. No. No way. No. No. Q. Q. Fucking Q. Press the fuck. Oh. Give me that fucking hammer. Hit, hit it in the face! Oh yeah, yeah, you like that, don't ya? Come on, yeah! Smash! Boo! Yeah, you like that! Ah! Mm. Ah! One more time, come on! I would. Just, one more time, man. Just. Man. Can I? One more time, please. Hi there. Okay, I guess not. That was pretty exciting, I can't... Did you kill it? <laughs> something else did. I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. Oh, I think that might be a little while, you know. Oh, look, I don't know what happened, but Aww. I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We should look for help before it gets dark, or get out of here once the sun goes down. I say look for help before it gets dark. Dark, yeah. I'd say, yeah. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Indeed. Let's go. Stay close to me. Aw, he's cute. Lee, you look like a retard. Move. Can I move, please? Thank you. Okay, um... Let's see, can I go here? Oh, yes, I... Can't. <laughs> Come here, Clementine. Don't go that, that far. Oh, fuck, yeah, I don't have to use that lane. I, I can just, like... Yeah! Oh, man... I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. Mama. This sucks. Well, it's hot dish night. Hmm. Well, maybe they can provide provide us some kind of... What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't, I leave, won't you leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Oh, she's adorable. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Oh God, no. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you, you trying to get it. out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Um. Her babysitter. Her <laughs> I guess so. Out of town. Like. 
Let's get like, going. That's a, Staying put for too that's long a is a mistake. Valley job for middle-aged man, I guess. I... Being a babysitter. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Oh God. The monster's coming. We have to clear the road now. Let's do that shit. Push the fucking car. Push, yeah. Yeah. Push the fucking car. Come on. Up. Aw, Clementine's helping. Still? Oh, yeah. You're gonna be safe. Yeah! I did this! Fucking A. Does babysitters go? I'd say your parents owe you a tip. Yeah. I say that too. Well, that went well. I guess. Then. That place looks comfy. I like that place. I like I like it right now. Like right now, probably now later if something some like shit goes down here like they're like bad hey, guys Sean, and they I'm gonna run on home. Freaking my mom was gonna be in a snit. Feast on human no sweat, flesh. Man. I'll catch so you there's no food but uh, I don't know. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Can I hug you down the way? Too? Since Mayor's gone late. I kind of want to do that. New. I need a hug right now. I wouldn't now. have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy is a lifesaver. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Mm-hmm. How'd this happen? I fell. I fell. Trying to get away from one of those things. That's so. What type of danger has the girl seen? Uh, who knows, I guess. Is I, I've known her for like two hours, I guess. Who knows? She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Yeah. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Dead people walking. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. 
We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot Thank or you, the Sir, doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Ah, okay. don't troll me like that. That'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the episode here, so I'll see you on the next one.